I just woke up, I think I had the weirdest dream. It was like voices really freaking me out. And I can't... Wait. I can't sleep. Well, I'm here waiting at the airport. My flight's about to leave. Moving out on my own. I'm going to the East Coast. She was just pretty much a perfect child growing up. We uh, gave her the money to move out there. I decided to make a video diary, and then it'll be better than Skyping, so you guys can just uh, watch them and you'll know, keep up to date with my East Coast life here. We had a bond that was different than just a mother-daughter bond. At first, the uh, web videos were nothing. Megan obsessed with the paranormal. It was all harmless. This was like her world. It like consumed her. It was really weird. We can start to mess around with this stuff. You, we can set it like a demon or something. Did someone die here? Before I lived in my apartment, there was a girl named April that lived there about six months ago that she was actually murdered. She's reaching out to me. What's she looking at? Is she looking at me? I still have all this weird stuff happening in my house. It's just getting worse. I don't know, but it's starting to really freak me out. Something happens all the time here. It could be something worse. Like what? <laughs> Felt like I was gonna die. Definitely different when I, when I saw her. The old Megan had been fading away. I don't know what she wants from me because I'm not a paranormal expert. I can't help her. I didn't move here to become obsessed with a ghost. I don't know what's happening to me. She was possessed. Not afraid of her. Honestly, I really don't know what I saw.